Hello, in this video we're going to see how to add custom parameters to visual objects, how to list them in tables, and how to automate the assignment of values to uh, visual objects. We will do that in Grasshopper. So for this particular example, we're going to list the host style name where doors and windows are located. So when we insert a table, we already have a table style that lists the information of openings. We can check what we get. And we need to add here a new property field. We can do this now from the table of styles dialog. So I do right click here. I go to openings. I do right click to add a new property field. I can call this host style name. But here, if we check the list of parameters available, even though there is a host, there is no one that uh, will give us the uh, host style name. I will leave it empty and I will need to create now a new parameter for this purpose. I'm going to do this from the document properties, which opens this parameter section. I can add a new custom parameter called host style name. Assign it to a category and give it a data type. Text is all right. And now, if I go back to the styles, I go to openings, and I can already assign this custom parameter to this new property field. It is listed at the end of this properties list. Now, I just need to select the openings and assign the corresponding value. For example, for this particular window, I can first check this is a generic 300 millimeters and then select the window and from this parameter section, assign here the value. We can update this table now. And if we don't see the value in this list, means that that window is grouped in this table because it has common parameters with other windows. We can modify the table style so we list all the doors and windows individually. So we go back to the table styles, expand the openings, select the quantity field, and here we're going to uncheck all these uh, properties. We'll click OK and we will see the list of all doors and windows individually with the one to which we assign the host style name value. Now, how to assign the values to all doors and windows automatically and not having to do it one by one? We will do this in Grasshopper. I'm going to open Grasshopper and I will use a Visual Art pipeline to reference on one hand doors on the other hand, the windows. I can show this in wireframe so we see better the selection of each object. On the other hand, from the Visual Arc section under Genetics, we have this component, the document parameters, that gives us the list of existing parameters in the document. We can display them using a panel and we are interested to take the um, item number one from this list. So with the list item, we will set this index to number one. So now what we obtain from here is the host style name parameter. Now, we will use a Visual Arc update property to update this field on all the referenced doors and windows. So we already have the objects, the properties, but we still need to calculate the value. So we will do it first for the doors and later on 
for the windows. In case of doors, we need to deconstruct the doors. So we obtain the host information, which is in all these cases are walls. So we will use the deconstruct wall. But we can deconstruct the wall options now. And finally, we can deconstruct the wall style. So we will get the list of names. And this is what we, we need to connect here to the value. We will need to graft all these inputs so the data that comes in is structured in the same way. And now, when we click on this button, we will see that all the doors and windows, for example, let's take this one, has already a value for the host style name. So we're going to do the same process with Windows. So from Visual Arc, I'm going to deconstruct Windows. And I can actually copy all these components to obtain the list of wall styles that are the host of the Windows. I will also duplicate this component. I connect now this list of wall names and the objects will be in this case, the windows. The property is the same. I can update this field, close this. And now I assume that all the windows have the corresponding host style name. If I update this table now, I will get all these values fulfilled. 